Attention gamers. If you play Jin then you may just be used to sitting bot for 6 eternities hoping that you hit your power spike before you die off of old age while babysitting an auto-filled support who doesn't realize her role is to nurture you like a milk-filled tit until you are strong enough to carry her on your broad right-clicking shoulders and instead opts to go full AP while hoarding wards and letting you famish, all while your team flames you for being the reason why they are all on 9 game losing streaks and if what I am describing feels just a bit too real then I'm happy to say I've found a solution to your problems, and that's to take your counting to the mid lane, where you can enjoy the amenities that come from having more early pressure than a migraine against the current meta champs in that role, in a lane where dodging your triangular death simulator is quite difficult. With runes and lethal Lisa items that have you asking your enemies health bars why they are in such a hurry to disappear and so today we are going to show the power of gen mid and demonstrate why it's the perfect pick for frustrated trashy kill hungry hard stuck ADC players like myself. Now I recognize there will be people who will want to replicate this so here are the runes here is the build and here is a picture of my dog. Say so she's f***ing cute. Now the first game started the way they normally do with me doom strolling tiktok completely ignoring the world war 3 going on 10 feet from me but I looked up at just the right time landed a thin beam from downtown disney world and secured my team the title of he who murders first. But I wasn't done you see I knew if the kids on the dance floor let me count all the way to 4 there would at least be one additional dead bitch but I healed my roster like a damn poke center. And along with that same pal world analogy you could see the Gary Oak to my Ash Ketchum also racking up kills in what would turn out to be a game long rivalry as I followed the flashing leader and then let one more Slim Jim out of the canister for my third. So I started this game with a Dirk and every time this Diana had the balls no pun intended to walk into my personal space I was sure to remind her of such. This pattern continued until she was hot bothered dried up and begging to be sent to the nearest fountain when I received an untimely valentine. I started to run but the sex ant was all like Go on, touch me. Which worked like a charm for my horny death fetish ass and it turns out she has a thing for edging herself so I'm happy to say everyone was left satisfied. My jungler was saying Baron's ballsack explodes at 5 minutes now and there's an interactive mini game you can play with his 3 testicles up here so I was like wish it was 4 but count me in and we weren't the only ones interested in participating but unfortunately the others were all dead as fuck instead. My jungler was constantly more outnumbered than Sky Bree in videos with only her fans and despite my accuracy less efforts, the trades were barely worth it. I then had to take a trip up north you see the enemy shopkeeper put out missing posters for his rage induced rabies ridden dog and a true dog whisperer would be needed to handle him and seeing as I whisper all my voice lines I decided to give it a go. The warnings were right in that this German shepherd gone rogue did not want the leash but it turns out the command he obeys is just four. FOUR! Word quickly got out about my dog whispering abilities and every chicken ant and scorpion on the rift wanted to take me home, to my place, without her. But what they don't know is I'm kind of smooth around the ladies. There were repercussions of me leaving home for so long and my lady friend is a jealous mistress so she was trying to vandalize my property so I had to zoom out and remind her how long my beams were before letting her feel like the girl that guy still want to chase even though I just wanted her money. Shopkeeper's dog escaped his base again but I knew the right command this time, so it was much easier to send him back to his master. But after a third time I started to think that Boris is just a negligent owner and I wasn't prepared to deter the ladies at the same time so I took a step back and evaluated my situation, before coming to the conclusion that murder was the only option. But this game wasn't all rainbows and shower sex as you can see the kill count was less balanced than Nico Avocado's diet my bot was getting shit on worse than a diaper the dumb fucking dog got out of the cage for a 16th time and even though I was able to handle him, when the people he was around didn't know just to say the four word it was turning into deadly situations that I had to rescue them from. I seemingly spoiled my early advantage trying to train a lazy tradesman's uncooperative dog to stay in the fucking base while my Gary Oak nemesis was somehow legendary and things were looking bleak. At this time I knew that zooming out would be the most optimal strategy but between us I didn't like doing so because every time I zoomed out I was reminded of the remedial apes that Riot seemingly handpicked just for me in an attempt to get me to make episode 2 of my PAL World series instead of playing more League. They were breaching the base like two League of Legends content creators apparently breach miners DMs and I was doing everything I could to defend against it knowing that if we were to survive this push, I would have to take out the one all hyped up on cocaine talking to her guns in front of us. 
but a real counting psychopath can see the broken bullshit dirty Diana brewing some cheese over the wall and beat her at her own game. He can take a look at that sex worker Scorpion and tell her to sit still and then show her what a wraparound is supposed to feel like. He will root the bald ass dock worker and give him a taste of this Glock. Their jinx may have 79 kills at this point just from farming my muppets but the second she slips up she's getting the second big boy in the chamber. The team is starting to work together on that dumb untrainable dog and a comeback is starting to brew. I am now in the zone like the script of a goddamn AutoZone commercial and my thoughts at this point were if I can sacrifice my own life to take out their carry with the rest of their team dead, we can actually win this. I was wrong. But this taught me a valuable lesson that when playing lethality fuck you money gin mid you need to abuse your early power and then shut the game down early and that's exactly what I was going to do. I took trades with this penguin had it homunculus knowing that I could just zoom out and give her the dickin from downtown. This pattern proved to be more consistent than any team playing against NA in a world's match as I hit him with the same exact set of steps where we would tickle each other until one of us would say okay I'm tired time to go to bed and then I would say psych bitch it's bazooka time so you might want to consider dancing until he was dead again and I was fed as fuck. And I don't know what it is about this champ but once you get in the groove you just start playing like you are 5 ranks higher than you really are. Anyways Triss did come down to see what all the ruckus was about but I quickly informed her that a change in venue would still lead to the same pitiful black and white outcome that she should come to expect when I launched the Omega Lull Death Simulator. I then heard chanting that top lane was in need of he who had proven to be a dog whisperer but they said it's a bit more complicated because this time it's a gerbil but it's also going through a rather violent bout of puberty and whipping small chimneys at people and I was like well I can try the same command that worked on the dumbass dog last match and sure enough, it worked like a charm. And according to the lore that all the now unemployed rioters wrote for this champ I'm known as the Virtuoso but after this performance I'm more of an animal wrestler and spiders were going to be no exception as this itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout I desk popped a hood lum and then down came the rain and gin bitch slapped this spider out. So just over 20 minutes into the game I was averaging 1 KO per number that I mumbled in the air which brought us to the sweet sweet stylish fed as fuck sequence from the intro where I just wanna say. Try Jin mid out for yourself because the early pressure you get with this pick randomly turns you into a mechanical god capable of carrying every game except for the first one I showed where I was teamed up with a bunch of brain dead sloth sperm cells and with that I just want to say. Brush your teeth tonight, rav out. <laughs>